not that bad. We look like a bunch of chumps. Stop! Fucking damn it! Wrench, calm the fuck down. It's not helping. Yeah, you're right. It's not helping. Marcus, you got anything to say? Well, guys, I, to be honest with you, uh, I genuinely don't have a plan. But I got an idea, and I don't know, just trust me on this one. Things haven't been great lately. Yeah, they suck. But whatever shit we're in now, that's now. You helped us find our voice. We took on the Giants and had one motherfucker of a run. Never thanked you for any of it. Hey, why are you talking like it's over? Isn't it? I'm still in. I know you are, and we can convince the others that you're not in. These are from our DeadSec channels. DeadSec is not worthy. DeadSec is a bunch of skitties. You told us lies and bullshit. Hashtag DeadSuck. Yeah, so we got some shit stirrers. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they... Jesus, Marcus. Have you been paying attention? I care what they think. I've worked my ass off for years, trying to earn us respect long before you ever showed up. This is my brand. Now it's completely fucked. So unfuck it. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, at least you're not a fugitive. <laughs> oh, damn. I wonder if there's a bounty on your head. Maybe I can salvage this. Oh, please, man. you couldn't catch me if you wanted oh, to. Oh, you're talking to a track star, bitch. Just walk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anything. Yeah, me neither. If I gotta drag their asses out to the middle of the desert to keep DeadSec together, I'm gonna do it. Dead sex come too far to give up now. Swelter Skelter's third annual Jabberwock Hacking Challenge begins soon at the Center Sculpture. Come show us what you've got. Come on, motherfucker! This isn't a fair fight. Oh, it's so not fair. Little guy's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. But that's what makes it fun, right? We like to watch little guy take his lumps. Yeah, I mean, so he can get back up on his feet again and overcome, right? You're trying to turn this into a metaphor for DeadSec, aren't you? I mean, if you want to keep DeadSec going, I'm right there with you. But if you're putting your metaphor money on that weirdo, no. He's going down and staying down. <laughs> yeah, it's a long shot. Hey, are you joining us for the competition? Yep, I'm down. Hey, man, what you working on? Gonna get these people moving. But they need a proper track list. This shit barely has a pulse. DJ ratio. Just ratio. Back when I used to do sets. Hey, maybe I'll go back to it. What else am I gonna do now? Man, dead sex not over. We hit a pothole, that's all. We're gonna come back stronger. You're always so sure of yourself. I know. But I'm always right. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's much better. Locked their DJ out of his tools, too. The savior of the party. Hey, once you're done giving these guys a hard time, meet me in the middle. Dead sex entering the competition. I'll be there.
leaving your mark. Always. But not dead sex. Doesn't feel right, you know? Come on, don't bum me out here. I'm trying to have a good time. Me too. So we, as in dead sec we, are gonna enter that hacking challenge and we're gonna win. And the others are okay with this? They will be. I got a nice smile. Well, you do have a nice smile. <laughs> See? No problem. We're gonna do this. Everything's gonna be okay. You've got it all figured out, huh? Nah. But I do know if I get you back in Satara mode, you'll figure out most of it for me. <laughs> Damn. You are dangerous. <laughs> Meet us by the ugly sculpture when you're ready. All right. See you there. Josh, who's your friend? Oh, this is Susan. She's a second grade teacher from Milwaukee. She's 32 and she drives a cherry red. Cool. Hey, we're gonna meet by the big sculpture for a group shot before the challenge. Um, whenever you're ready. Didn't mean to, uh, step on your game here. Game? Uh, we're not playing a game. I was just explaining to Susan how if your low speed mixture adjustment is too rich, your engine's going to buckle under all the excess fuel. That's a four cycle idle and that can be a no no. Yep, sh sure can. Okay, well, I'll see you out there. Competitors, this is the last call to enter the Jamrock Hacking Challenge. Last call, third act, Merchant of Engines. That's us. All right, people, gather up. We need a group shot. Hey, try to look pretty for the camera, huh? Always. Okay, looks like the challenge is starting. Hey, Josh, get on the numbers and feed it answers. Wrench, you got the jab of what? Get it wired up and ready. Ratio, I need you to run interference on arrivals. Slow him down. Sitar and I are gonna hack this thing. <laughs> Let's get it. Dead set. Let's go, guys. Drone's up there, if you need a better view. Almost there. I'm inside. Okay, what is this? <laughs> nice! Throwing up the horns and punctuating them. We should focus. There seems to be a timer. Think you can hack it? Of course. Stop fucking moving! Don't mess with Satara.
fire! You cannot catch on fire! Told ya! That is dope as fuck! The Jabberwock, with eyes of flame. Who are you? I'm John! Hey, hey, hey. I'm Horatio, how's it going? What's good? I'm Marcus. Who are you? I'm Ray. Uh, I should have put more juice in. It's ah. Hey, you kids want to feed your heads? A few ounces of sacrosanct mind fuck. Man, man, man. People, I am going offline now. See you on the other side. Oh, Horatio, you good, man? The word good has lost all meaning, my friend. Mm. Okay, you good? Mm. Did I forget to mention that these boomers had a little acid bath? Uh, Josh? It's okay, they're using hallucinogens in clinical trials for... Maspies. Mas... Maspies. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is feeling it. Okay, let's go find something for you to stare at. Huh? Okay. Okay. My. You're not Ray. You're Ray Raymond Kinney Ray. I, I still got your old hacker zines, man. I remember reading War Driver and gearing up my 10 speed, backpack with an antenna. Shit, I even used your old root kit, man. Fuckster? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> well, I assumed you were all just... skitty pests. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... your crew seems to have a lot of unfocused noise. You the leader? The fine world. <sighs> no, man, it doesn't work like that. Dead sex got a rule. No personal armies. No leaders. Yeah. Well, FYI, I saw you leading out no, there. Oh, man, this is everything we're fighting against. The system back home is completely fucked. And any kid out there on the sand is gonna say the exact same fucking thing. Easy words, bro, easy words. All right. A few years ago, this broken-ass system marked me as a criminal risk. Linked me to some shit I didn't even do because it was probable. And now, with CTOS, it's everywhere. I mean, I, I can see it down to the... <laughs> to the, to the sub subliminal shit. You just multiply. Yeah, we have a tendency to do that. What you call subliminal... is a bellwether, Marcus. You got a short eye, kid. But subliminal is passive. Bellwether program is control. It's like a Orwell Huxley double punch. Profiling, media manipulation, corporate collusion, consumerism, all driven by predictive algorithms. And now, it's setting up shop in the heart of the Silicon Valley. And somebody at Blooms using CTOS to feed it data. Over Kruten. I'm aching. Aching to give Bloom a swift steel kick in the peanut sack. Now I can help you kids up your game. Yeah? Help me slay the real Jabber walk. Walk with me, Marcus. Fuck up, let's Good go. Man. Uh, I just spent the night in a pup tent next to a lady who was very nude and very tattooed. Fuck Good for you, girl. No, you don't get it, man. She was her son's a Ragnarok bride. I guess we gotta go, man. We gotta fucking vamoose now. Come on. Fucking sons are coming. Oh, God.
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you said you guys fucked up. How bad is it? Yeah, we all at risk now because my name's got a red flag on it. Yeah, people are gonna start making the connections. Yeah, where the fuck is everyone? Is that all? It's enough. We're talking about Bloom here. Hey, and you're talking to Bloom's public enemy number one, son? Yeah, I've been dodging those bastards for years. If you want, I could scrub you from the system. If you give me a couple hours. Just like that? Well, I might have to sacrifice a goat as part of my arcane ritual, but yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you are. We've been looking for you all morning. Turns out Swelter Skelter doesn't have a lost and found. <laughs> nah, it's more of a finder's keeper's policy out there in the desert. What in the hell is he doing here? Yeah, Marcus, why did you invite this stranger into our house? Look, look, it just happened, all right? We were running from these bikers, right? And yeah. Look, you know what? It doesn't even matter. He's cool. Oh, he's cool. Oh, that's good. Because we usually discuss these things as a group. I know. It's my bad. But you met Ray already, right? I want to introduce you to Raymond Kinney. That's Raymond Kinney? I thought you'd be cleaner. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I have a two-second... <clears throat> I get this a lot, too. Can we keep him like a hacker in residence? Yeah, we could use his help. He should, he can, he, he can stay here, right? He should, he should stay here. Okay, fine. But if he fucks with any of us, I'm gonna pop his nuts like ripe grapes. Message received. Nice hat. Nice mask. Okay, we're good. You want a beer? Uh, yeah, I would love a beer or two. Oh, thank you. Grab the man some hardware, too. He's going to teach us some magic.
Hey, kid. Ready to change the world? I got something for you. Home, provider of smart houses in the Bay Area, is facing allegations that it violated homeowner privacy. Leaked documents reveal that Home is selling private user information, primarily to health insurance companies, by accessing their own monitoring system. Spokesperson for the company, Elena Chow, said that the information sold isn't in any way breaching users' privacy, and that all of this information is available on the company's end-user license agreement. Hey, yo, T-Bone, I'm ready, man. I'm pumped. No, seriously, activist mode, activate. Hey, man, how do we get Bloom? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on to your joystick, son. You kids are gonna need to work your way up to Bloom, even with me help. Ray, are you briefing him without me? We were supposed to do that together. Uh, no, I just didn't want to trouble you. What trouble? No trouble. Come on, Marcus, let's brief. Okay. So, let's that... look at the big shot data harvester. Our friends at Noodle. Now, every time you search for discount refrigerator or bulldozer porn, they learn more and more about you. Data profiling 101? Uh, right. But what you didn't know was that Bloom's already got their grubby paws all over that data. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good, Satara. Noodle's data is just what Bloom needs to strengthen the bellwether. Dig their puppet strings in deeper. You know, if we could get a hold of this ammunition, we could take down a whole lot of different targets. I can help with that. You can't hack Noodle unless you get into the server farm. You can't get into the server farm without clearance. Hell, you can't even get on the grounds unless you're an employee there. Who the hell you think Rob Zombie over here gets his intel from? Well, tell me you got clearance. <laughs> oh, man, I'm trying to stay low-key right now. One of my leads is breathing down my neck. I bet you Marcus can pose as an employee. Oh, he could do more than pose as an employee, Sitara. Tell him what you told me, Horatio. Noodle buses. I snagged an exploit for credentials. I could get you to the buses. All you gotta do is drive it in. They'll think you're one of the bus drivers. Shit. Yo, let's roll, son. All right. Hey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's do this. Hey. 